Hey craft nerds, how's it going? Um, so this is a video I've been planning to do for quite some time um, and like along with a lot of other ones to be honest um, I just haven't had time to do it yet so I thought today was the day that I sit down and finally film this video um, so what I have for you today is this um, class in a box so I mentioned in um, my videos some time ago that I was looking for some sort of subscription box um, that was not too crazy expensive to ship to Australia and that sort of thing. Um, I honestly haven't had any luck finding something that um, seems worth the money um, because the shipping is sort of outrageous. Um, so I haven't got anything of that yet, but I found this on Catch of the Day, which is an Aussie uh, discount site. Um, I don't know what the equivalent would be for the States, to be honest. Uh, it's just, it started off as a, I think it used to have just one bargain per day that would be some massive, uh, amazing bargain. Um, and you had to jump on it that day. And then, you know, so people would quickly want to snap up the bargain it might be a TV or um, cookware or whatever um, and now it's like a site of its own with just like tons and tons and tons of discounted stuff um, and I was just having a browse on there and yeah saw this one and thought well it's not a subscription box but it is sort of like um, you know a, a bead box that you have different variations of like there was like 10 maybe more different types of classes in a box by the same place um, a couple of different earring ones like silver earrings um, and this one which is like your um, copper and brass um, different necklace ones and it was based on style of necklace you know classic um, earthy uh, maybe silver I can't remember all the different ones that it had um, but yeah so and they're um, $31 I believe um, Australian dollars um, I honestly I don't know how easy difficult this is to get um, overseas so hopefully you know if you guys do like this you can hopefully get it um, it does have some French writing on it which um, you know, leads me to believe that it has been imported. Um, Cousin is the brand. Actually, and it does say Cousin Corporation of America. So, there you go. I've got a cup of tea here as well. Um, chai tea. I needed a drink. Um, yeah, so anyway, I thought we could like um, unbox it together, have a look at what it's like. Um, what the instructions are like, what you get. Um, this is obviously for beginners with jewellery but I mean at the end of it you get a lot of different earrings like it's got pictures of some of the earrings you get on the back. Uh, it might even be good for someone who has done a bit of jewellery um, to spark some inspiration. Um, you know I might get something out of it just thinking of different ways to put things together because um, you can get stuck in your ways of doing things. And it says it's got 530 pieces. It's got a bead mat included. Um, I can see a pair of pliers in here as well. So it looks like it's got all the things that you need to get started. So let's open this up, shall we? All right, so it's well packaged. I've pulled the insert out and this is what I've got here. Bead mat, all the beads, pliers and findings. So let's see. Nice little ribbon. It's a small bead mat, but big enough, so that's good. All right, so it looks like it comes with a book, um, class in a box, project guide, 12 pages, kit makes um, 10 earring sets. And there's quite a variety of um, earrings. Um, it looks like it's got pretty good instructions in here too. Like it even talks about um, what each thing is so that you understand what they're talking about. You know, it talks about what an ear wire is, an eye pin, a head pin, um, jump rings, all of that stuff. 
um, you know obviously someone who's been doing it a while knows what those things are but this is perfect for beginners so you could easily get this kit if you've never done jewelry before or for someone that you know who likes making things or that just likes earrings even um, they can make themselves some earrings and I, I'd say you could easily substitute um, different beads in there if you've got your own stash of beads as well doesn't look like there's any difficult um, wire wrapping or anything like that in here so uh, it's all pretty easy stuff the most difficult would be um, forming a loop with the wire so if you've never done um, if you've never made the end of a head pin into an eye pin um, that might be a little tricky for you but it has got instructions on how to do it for a minute I didn't think it had cutters in there and I was thinking how on earth are you gonna make um, like form a loop if you haven't got a pair of cutters but it looks like this pair of pliers actually has um, a cutting edge on it as well so I'm gonna try and open this up so here's the pliers and it's got the cutting bit right there um, it's got a flat part in the middle here uh, which would be your flat nose pliers and the round part at the end for the round nose pliers so it's sort of an all-in-one plier which is an interesting concept I'm going to open up some of these beads now and let's have a look at what's in there. Alright, so I've got a package of findings. Now what have we got? We've got a mix of copper and brass or a gold sort of colour. Now to be honest the quality of these eye pins is pretty poor. Um, there's some sort of gold coating on the gold ones and it's not um, consistently applied some of it's sort of coming off and there's like black or me other another metal maybe showing through um, if you are if you are an experienced beater then don't get this I guess expecting high quality beads or anything um, but you know it could just be good for practice um, I don't I would never I would never sell any of these um, you know look and the thing is the thing is with the tutorial as well um, it is usually quite fine to buy a tutorial and make things to sell um, usually the person making the tutorial will let you know whether you can do that or not because I just thought I'd touch on that now, now that I mentioned it um, as long as you know um, you're not selling the tutorial or any version of that um, or your uh, I don't know I usually they'll say if they want you to credit them um, quite often a lot of people who create tutorials myself included um, I don't ask for to be credited or any of that sort of stuff because I don't know it's just knowledge sharing and um, once I put it out there I, I just let people use that knowledge how they like but I wouldn't want them to like make copies of my tutorial if I'm selling it and distribute them for example or sell the tutorial as if it's theirs um, that's my only stipulations um, and I thought I'd mention that because if you bought this and you were selling jewelry I think that would be quite fine um, I don't see any issue with that. I'm just saying though the quality of the findings at least are not um, something that I would personally want to use and in, in, in my work and sell um, because I just don't think they're the best quality. Um, and it depends on your price point too I suppose. like. You know, if you are very affordable, then you can definitely um, use components that are more affordable and people will expect that. Uh, if you are higher end, um, then, you know, which I, I do tend to err on the higher end, I guess, because a lot of the work that I do is embroidery work. So I'm just trying to, you know... Um, 
trying to basically um, use the best components because of the time involved in it and you know um, it's difficult to charge for time people you know you hear all of these things about how to use some sort of formula to price your work honestly I don't believe that that's true and I've heard so many people say that that's not really true you can't use it formula um, it really is what the market will um, will buy it for you know um, so scarcity impacts the price um, perceived quality um, market value for other people that sort of thing all affects the price but um, you know most of the time because there are so many manufacturers around these days that even rip off like designers a lot of the stuff that you see manufactured by China has been designs that are like uh, directly ripped off from jewelry makers who you know took the time to create the designs and they make a cast of it they make a million of them and they sell it for peanuts and everyone straight away thinks that's what it's worth um, whereas you know the artisan that made it came up with it took the time put more work into it put better metals in it put whatever um, so that's kind of what you're up against <laughs> unfortunately but yeah look the copper ones are a bit the same um, I feel like the gold ones are lesser quality there are some silver ear wires in here too and some copper tone ones. None of these are going to be um, the actual metals because of the price. It's super cheap so uh, they will be base metal. Alright that gives you a bit of an idea there of um, the different components. So got quite a number of jump rings there. Um, we do have some silver ear wires, um, you know, brass and copper, brass and copper uh, ear wires and head pins. No silver he head pins and ear, oh, sorry, head pins and eye pins. Um, but there is a separate pack you can get that's a silver pack um, if you're interested in that. And then it looks like we've got some chain there as well. All right, now let's have a look at the beads, shall we? And what I might do is just make one pair of earrings because we'll be here all day otherwise. I'll pick a, a simple one so that we're not taking too long. Um, just to see what the instructions are like uh, and, you know, talk you through what I think of it all. I'm very impressed with the way it's packaged. Um, it's all very secure. It's all packaged in separate little, um, you know, plastic containers. Uh, the findings were all in one, but that's okay. Um, everything else is like well laid out. So what have we got? We've got some brown sort of coppery pearls and some creamy champagne colored pearls. Um, we have some little silver disc shapes. We have some um, like coppery bronze disc shapes. Um, this is a mixed package of uh, brass stampings. Some cute little brass leaves. Um, Looks like some brass, uh, sorry, some coppery bronze coloured uh, stampings. We have some seed beads there. Uh, looks like about a size 6 and a size 11. Um, not a fabulous quality, but that's what you expect in a pack like this, I guess. Um, and a dark brown sort of hot, um, sort of matte almost like like a satiny matte finish so some interesting beads there okay so let's have a look in the book and find um, one of the designs that isn't too difficult so we can make it together all right so let's give this one a go here um, not too tricky just got a few different components there. Um, 
it lets you know here what's involved. There is um, English and French instructions. All right, first step is finding the components that are included that we need for those um, earrings. So having a look here at the ones I want to make, there's two sort of leaf shapes and pearls between the um, leaf shapes. I also will need head pins and eye pins. All right, one, two, three. Okay. All right, well, straight away, I'm not impressed. <laughs> I seem to be missing one of these leaves, which means I can't make those earrings because I'd need four of them and they've only given me three. So that's not fantastic. Um, all right. Let's see, is there another package they could be in? Right, no, we're definitely just missing, all out missing them. Um, I'm also noticing that the holes that are in the leaves, um, like they've done them too close to the side and so you couldn't actually use that hole for anything. Not that this design suggests that you do, um, thank goodness, but uh, yeah, I, it's difficult to show you, but it's like the holes on the sides would normally be usable to sort of put jump rings in and so forth, but you couldn't for that. Um, they're super thin. The metal on them is quite thin and, and quite flimsy. Um, so quality-wise, again, I'm, I'm not impressed by the quality of that. Um, some of the pieces are a little bit more sturdy and substantial though, like these ones here um, are thicker and seem quite sturdy, so those are good. The other, some of the other stampings are just as thin and flimsy, unfortunately. Um, Alright, so I'm going to make, I'm going to make a pair of earrings with these instead because I have them. <laughs> um, so I've got two bits like this. Um, and there's a set of earrings that has two pearls that sit above it and then this hangs at the bottom. So I think we'll give that a go. Alright, so I obviously need the two ear wires. Um, I'm using the brass colour. So I basically need four eye pins. Now eye pins are the ones that have the little um, hole hole like an eye. <laughs> um, so it's got the hole in it and then the head pins uh, are just like a nail end, you know, the flat end. So eye pins are generally because you want to link something at the bottom and the top. Now it does have like suggestions on beads but I figure you can probably do whatever. Um, so I'm gonna I'm going to be a rebel <laughs> and I'm going to use what I want. Um, so I'm going to use these dark brown ones because I opened them and I like them. Um, so basically I am going to be doing um, this leaf design here. The design yeah, has two pearls in it. Um, they have used two different colour pearls. Um, I'm using the dark brown pearl things. You know, I love the Canon cameras and all that, but like they tend to cut you off at a certain designated time every time. And if you forget and you're in the middle of talking, it just cuts you off. Anyway, so I was in the middle of like starting the earrings. I've got my bead on an eye pin there. Um, I'm going to get the handy dandy pliers that they gave me, but I want to grab it with the flat part of the pliers. Uh, right next to the bead because you really want to oh, you might need a little bit of give on it like a little bit of room but like you basically want to bend it over at a right angle or, or close to I mean it doesn't have to be exactly right angle but you want to bend it bend it right over all right it's quite difficult with 
these pliers because it doesn't have a really thin end on it but that's okay they're not too bad um, so got it at a right angle um, now I'm going to use the cutters and you don't want too much of a um, an end on it no more than a centimeter probably less than that but err on the side of larger to start with because you can always cut more off but if you cut too much off you're going to not leave yourself enough room so then you want to get the tip of the pliers I really hope you can see this um, <laughs> let me show here as well just in case so I've cut it I've bent it I've cut it I've got the round nose part holding the tip of the um, eye pin and then you basically um, you sort of just grab it by the tip and turn it back towards the way um, towards the bead I guess like um, the opposite way that you bent it to start with back on itself to make the loop I hope I'm making sense <laughs> it's really difficult to describe that um, it's exactly the same process for each one so I'll do them and I'll try and show it all right so I've got my four beads with eye pins um, Hopefully you'll be able to see that so that way it has the eye on both sides of the bead allowing me to connect it to the bits above and below um, and so let's do that now so you just again you grab the tip of the pliers and you just grab the um, end of the eye pin that you've bent around and you bend it outways so that you know um, leaving a little gap so that you can um, loop it over the top of something so you know then you just so I've opened it up and you pop that into the next loop that you're wanting it in and then you close it back the way you went whoops these pliers are a little tricky um, they're not great quality I guess I shouldn't expect anything much from a $30 kit but um, it is definitely for beginners I would say um, if you've got your own set of pliers use those uh, these even f like for beginners I kind of feel a bit bad <laughs> because I'm not a beginner at all and um, I'm finding these a little tricky they're, they're usable but just um, know that it gets easier if you have the right pliers like the all-in-one while it's a clever way to have three sets of pliers um, it's actually not great um, it's a little tricky so mainly the flat nose part is tricky because it's kind of in the center so I'm just I'm hoping this is coming up on film but um, I'm opening the beads and I am attaching I've attached the other bead and I've attached the bottom section because that has a loop that I can attach into so alright so same thing for the um, ear wire at the top I'm just opening up the loop so you know you, you just bend it to the side um, you don't bend it back the way like when you first did that loop you don't bend it back um, the opposite way that you bent it in you sort of bend it to the side um, it's just a lot easier and I hope I'm explaining that in a way that makes sense to you um, and so then you know you pop your ear wire in the loop and then you close it again so I've done that and now I'm going to just close it again. It is a little bit fiddly because you've got to make sure that the EY doesn't come off while you're bending that back. Oops. And there's the finished earring. 
And let's do the other one. All right. So we now have a pair of earrings. So you can see those ones worked up pretty quickly. Not too bad. Oh, I just need to fix that loop a little. Um, make sure your loops are even, like, and, like, fully closed. So try and, it'll take practice, but try and make sure there's no gap where you made that loop. Um, otherwise, things can fall out. Um, the quality is not fantastic, but then it is a cheap um, pack considering what you get. Um, you know, if you are a beater, I wouldn't recommend this um, because I think you're going to be disappointed with the quality. Uh, I would say this is perfect for someone who hasn't um, made jewelry before. This is a great kit for anyone who's new to, you know, making earrings or necklaces or whatever. Um, it's got some, you know, real beginner stuff there. The instructions are not very informative. I'm not sure how you'll go. Um, I know how to make them, so it's a little easier for me. Um, they're not too bad. I mean, they've got, I think you, you just have to refer to, there is a section on how to do the loop. Let me hold that up. So it does have the pictures here on how to do the loop. And that's the main, that's the only rule technique they've got in there. Um, so once you've mastered that, you'll be fine. You know, and then it's just got different variations. I'm a little bit disappointed that some of the components seem, seem to be missing. Um, I'm not sure if other things are missing. I haven't pulled everything out. Um, but look, I, I think it's a pretty good kit for $30. It's a really great price. So if you have someone or if you yourself haven't made jewelry, um, yeah, class in a box. Not too bad, not too shabby. I don't think I'll be getting another one. This is not quite for me. So unless you guys want to see the necklace one or something like that, let me know. But um, otherwise, not not quite for me. Um, but yeah, would make a great gift, I think. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and you know, if you are interested in it um, and you're from Australia, check out Catch of the Day because that's where I got that one. Um, otherwise, I'll see if I can find it anywhere else and note that down as well. Um, and I'll leave it there because um, I don't know how long this video is. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you want to see any other um, earring tutorials, um, maybe either from this box or just um, in general. Um, or if you are interested in seeing one of the other class in a box um, and you know take you through that let me know that too if anyone does know of any um, craft related subscription boxes that don't cost a million dollars to send to Australia um, let me know that as well I'd be happy to start getting one and review it and that sort of thing um, anyway make sure you do hit hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my craziness and um, I shall see you next time bye craft nerds